Aye, 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 so hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Chibamana and if you are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this body on a budget or bougie on a budget wig right here. It's sort of like bohemian, like very curly, very luxurious. You guys know that is the kind of style that's like my vibe. So if you are interested, definitely keep on watching. So hey guys, so just to clear the air, before I actually started recording, I couldn't find my dummy head or my mannequin head for some reasons. I don't know where I kept it or I don't know what happened to it basically. So in case you see something off like using this as my dummy head, then don't complain. So I had to improvise and use my flower base because it is the same, almost the same shape of my head. So in case you guys see that in this video, don't complain. <laughs> Hey love, so for this week I used the Features Crochet Braids in a style Jazz Water and this came in I think 12 inches, as you guys can see it is very shiny, it is very bouncy as well. Now for the crochet cap, I use this crochet wig cap, I'm going to be leaving all the descriptions down below and as you guys can see it has like a demarcation or like crocheting and all of that. You're also going to be needing a crochet needle as well. and now moving on to how I separate my crochet braids. Now this is optional. You guys can totally do this without separating. But I prefer to separate to get like a more voluminous um, wig or look basically. Now you do not want to separate like this because then this would happen. You would tangle up the crochet braids and you would definitely ruin it. So what I usually do is to like caress the tips kind of like run my hands through the tips like you would do when you're combing your hair you start from the tips then work your way upwards so I start from the tips like detangle the tips and then go on so you know take out everything and it comes out really easily no tangles and what's not you can divide one strand into about four more other strands now to crochet my hair I'm not using any method I'm going to be using just the normal North method i'm going to be knotting it i think about four or five times just to make sure that it's very secure and i'm just going to be going through random holes as such yeah i'm going to be going through two holes or two loops or two crochet wig holes i don't know what it's called but yeah i'm going to be tightening it um about i'm going to knot it about four times just to make sure that it is as secure as possible and as you guys can see it is very easy and this process took me about i think two hours plus now this would have been a lot faster if i had a um what's it called a mannequin head rather than this vase because it kept on removing and it was kind of like a struggle but yeah we had to use what we had so yeah i'm just going to go ahead to just you know crochet around the wig cap making sure that you know it's as full as I want it to be and making sure that all the knots are really tight now moving forward to the center of the wig I really like that area to be very voluminous I'm going to be focusing on that area a lot so I'm just going to be putting the needle through random holes nothing more than two holes so it doesn't like cringe up or doesn't you know squeeze up the wig cap so i'm just going to be doing that as well and i went ahead to separate the crochet wig before i started crocheting just so it would make my work a lot easier <laughs> yeah so i'm just going to be doing that and yeah just going to keep doing that now something that I'm very particular about is always the sides of the crochet wig or any wig in particular. I always make sure that the parameters of the wig, that is the edges are always like, you know, it's, it's more like a priority for me. So that's why I am making sure that I have like some braids around the edges so that it doesn't look 
you know weird when i when it flies up when i pack it up or anything so i went ahead to just you know crochet the um parameters and i'm going ahead to work my way up to the front of the crochet wig So I just went ahead to just keep crocheting it. Now what I'm doing now is to make sure that I don't have like any bowed patches. So I'm trying to like cover up any vacant crochet space that you know might be there. As that's what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of like filling up the spaces so that it doesn't look patchy or it doesn't look weird when I fix it up. So yeah, I think I'm okay. I'm just going to go ahead to just look for any other random space that might be available to just fix in the remaining crochet. And here we go. This is what the wig looks like. And I'm just going to apply this on so you guys can see it. So yeah, this is what the wig looks like right now. It is very full. Um, because I kind of like opened up or unraveled the curls, it's kind of look it's kind of actually full. So you might want to trim this down, but I don't think I'm going to be trimming it down anytime soon. Now the wig cap obviously comes with um two um clips to clip in front and also one at the back. So I'm just going to be putting this on my head. So you guys can see like what this week looks like. So now that I've secured it at the back, I'm just going to ooh, okay, this is not a bad look. It's yeah, this is definitely one style you can rock with it. Or if you don't like this band that is showing right here, you could definitely use like a scarf to like hide it, or you could just tuck it in like so. If you're not cool with this, you could definitely bring it up front and and clip it up, clip it, and that way you can just freestyle. Now the only problem I think I'm having is this like band. Well, it's not like a huge problem because I've it's a week, so you could definitely like tweak it, tuck it in, so that way it doesn't show, or you could use like a scarf or something. Like you could take like a strand of the crochet and like just wrap it around that yeah that way so you don't see like the this band right here just cover it up and like use like a pin to hold it just feel free to be creative feel free to trim it down but i'll probably do that like when i have like a one-on-one -on -one with the wig so feel free to trim it down everything to one side or to the other side Woo! i'm actually loving that <laughs> So it just flows. Oh, yeah! I love this one, guys. This is so beautiful. It's like I would definitely bring it to this side or the other side. Either side, it definitely works both ways. I like how um, this, like, what's going on here? <laughs> so yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this DIY. I think it's absolutely amazing. Like, you guys could save yourself a whole lot of money and a lot of time and you could just play around with should i call them say synthetic um 
cheap affordable weeds and make them look very luxurious and very um expensive so you can get like that bougie on a budget look if that is what you're going for so if you guys like this video definitely let me know down in the comment section and feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any nice things to say if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel i would love it if you stick around with me let's have some diy amazing affordable fun so yeah that is it for this video i'll definitely see you guys in my next one if you guys like this affordable diy stuff because i really like making like affordable hair it's just something it's something very you know good and fulfilling about it like knowing that you could get something like this on a freaking budget it's just so overwhelming so yeah if you guys like this video definitely let me know in the comment section if you guys want more diys that are even more affordable less than this then i would be more than happy to help and to recreate and to have fun in the process so yeah i'll definitely see you guys in my next video stay tuned turn and turn on your notification have a lovely day i'll see you guys in my next one Bye, guys. <laughs>